Hello everyone, this is Fiona from SchoolNet welcoming you to a series of webinars featuring past finalists and winners in the Partners in Learning Forum in South Africa. Today we have Linda Bradfield from St Mary's in Johannesburg presenting highlights from her 2010 project. Linda used Grade 1s in her project called Trash to Treasure. She was a winner in South Africa and also in the Pan-African Finals in Mombasa. She went on to be a semi-finalist in the World Finals in Cape Town in 2010 and also won an award for impact in the UK with this project in the same year. So over to you, Linda. Hey, my project, as Fiona um, indicated at the beginning, involved um, six and seven-year-olds. I had been to um, workshops um, run by SchoolNet for the Innovative Teachers Forum, as it was called in those days. And um, it was really difficult, seeing as I taught um, primarily grade north ones and two, because most of the project seemed to come from much older children. And I thought, well, here goes. The challenge is that I've got to get out there and um, prove that grade ones can make just as big an impact. I think that I've actually opened up yeah, my last slide. Okay, um, this is my um, South African VCT, which was my entry into the competition. My um, project, like Lisa's, evolved over the period of six to eight weeks that it took to do the project. It incorporated literacy, numeracy, life orientation, ICT, and of course, um, community service. And I started out, my aim was to do something global, and something that children of this age could understand. So it had to be concrete. And that's why I came up with the idea of a recycling project. And initially, uh, the idea was, yes, that we would try and earn money from it, and then that would be used um, to purchase essential school equipment, preferably IT-type equipment. But as you'll see when we get to the end of the project, that's not how it panned out. Um, so the main, the framework of the um, project was that um, I started out by um, calling the parents in and doing a presentation uh, for them and just explaining to them what 21st century skills were and what project-based learning was. I also had created the wiki space where the boys were going to place all their um, research information and I gave the parents the list of all the wiki spaces that the boys would use and um, that was it. The parents initially were totally overwhelmed and thought that I had I'd lost it and that there was no way that I would achieve anything um, like this with their little boys. On this slide you can see that um, I said base your question on a situation or topic that is authentic. What is happening in the classroom, in the community, make it one that the children feel they're having an impact by answering a question and solving a problem. It must be relevant a now question in other words, and be um, have meaning for them at this stage of their life. Now, um, on this particular slide, um, I've just got a picture of some of the boys doing presentations, which is what they did at a certain stage, and then I've just got pictures of receipts that we received as the trash was collected. But now I'm going to try and get innovative, and I want to show you um, the embedded documents that are on this slide. So I'm going to have to go to um, my screen, go onto my computer momentarily, onto my desktop. Um, and there we have um, the embedded document, which is about the background to the pro project. It's just the initial part is about my school. I was the ICT teacher, so I didn't actually have a class of my own. So I had to work very closely with one of the grade one teachers who was really keen um, to 
get involved with this particular project. Then the next box is my project goals. And there again I speak about the recycling and how I wanted to extend their knowledge base. So that was the part of the knowledge building. I wanted to enhance their literacy skills. Um, they were reading all sorts of material. They read what they found on the internet from the um, websites that I recommended. They read and reread and reread what they posted up on the wiki. They were so excited about it. And they loved their ebooks. They read them to each other and over and over to themselves and to the headmistress, etc. The numeracy skills were that um, each week I handed out a spreadsheet to each class in the school, not only this particular class who were the champions of the course, and I gave them spring balances and instructions, and all the boys in the whole school brought in all their trash, and they sorted it, and they weighed it, and I taught them how to tally, and this was, and they filled in the sheet, and at the end of the week, um, those sheets were all brought in to me, and we did have little prizes each week in assembly. Um, here was my planning, as I sp said uh, previously, the origin was attending school net conference, which was actually held at Durban Girls College, which was a huge wow moment for me. I learned so much from that. And then again, I wanted to take on the global issue of pollution. Um, the investigation phase was that um, I used to read, I read books to them from the library. I invited a guest speaker from Whole Earth to explain about recycling. We created the wiki page and the ebooks. On the screen here, you can see the spreadsheet where they tallied in their fashion. I think the teacher actually ended up at the end of each week um, writing in the figures and doing the addition. Once, then we go on to the presentations that they did, which I'll talk about as, as the project, project pro, uh, progresses, and then finally um, our donation. Here you can see I stipulated um, all the things that happened according to what was required in the cr curriculum, the literacy, the numeracy, the ICT, life orientation, and community service. I've spoken quite a bit about the technology context, and the project management was that I saw the children twice a week in the ICT lessons. Um, of course, they were popping in and out all the time before and after school with their questions and their new ideas. And um, here you can see how I divided the weeks up for the duration of the project. The other um, embedded documents some of the um, images. There is my um, guest speaker from Whole Earth, um, me reading from library books, sharing their wiki spaces. They were quite able to log on themselves, and I gave them 10 minutes every lesson to share their wiki spaces. Some of the waste that piled up outside the teacher's classrooms, a child weighing it. Oh, this has got a bit jumbled up. Um, a picture of them Skyping. One of the boys wrote this note, which he had photocopied and passed around to all the people in his street. And the collection of the waste material, which was collected by collector can paper. The plastic waste, after quite a bit of this um, discussion, I said to the boys that plastic doesn't weigh very much and we'd have to find something more useful. So we came up with the idea of actually dragging all our plastic waste out onto Joe Slovo Drive and donating it to the informal recyclers who drag their trolleys up and down Joe Slovo Drive. And the boys used to stand at the fence at break and watch out for these people so that they could hand over their waste. Um, just a picture of, um, I got the ground staff on board sorting the trash. They were absolutely amazing in this project. And ultimately, we decided that because we were a very privileged school, that um, we didn't need the money. And the children decided that they wanted to donate it um, to animals. So I took them out to animals in distress, where they handed over their check. At that stage of the project, they were really so good at doing presentations and making speeches. Then I've just put in three pictures from the wiki space, which shows how the boys all chose to do their own page 
and not one of them were the same. Um, this is a piece of software that I used for the ebooks. And then there's just a screenshot of a, a child's um, a page from a child's book in the working stages. So now we've got to my last slide. Once again, I feel that um, the success of the project was that these little boys became highly efficient entrepreneurs. They collaborated extremely well with all their peers and myself. Um, they became really good motivators. They used Skype. I took them out to school and they did presentations. The presentation was done in the form of a question and answer because they were still so little. They, don't, they were only halfway through grade one. So I would pose a question and then each little boy would answer my question um, as our presentation. And it was hard for them because they always ended up um, presenting to children who were much older than them. And the greatest one was to go into a high school where the boys were all slouching in their seats and thinking, oh my word, why do we have to listen to six-year-olds? And slowly but surely, as the boys showed their wiki spaces and showed their electronic storybooks and spoke so confidently, those boys started sitting upright and when they left, they gave each of the boys a huge high five. So that was wonderful for the little boys. Um, so um, I think I'm going to go out again and I'll just to end off show you um, where do I go now to my screen and show you an example of one of the electronic storybooks which I think I have here. So this is one of the books and um, they drew the pictures, they animated them and typed the text. So in terms of ICT skills, they learned a huge amount of word processing as well as design and graphics and reading because they read these storybooks um, when they did their presentations. That's it. That's one of them. I will just show you um, of the presentation. As I said, it was um, question and answer format, and that's how we went. This was um, we went to a school in Kempton Park, out near Oatambo Airport, and if I scroll through it, you can see how they they did the presentation, answering my questions. That was Linda Bradfield from Johannesburg. We'd like to thank you very much for being willing to share all your secrets of success with us, Linda. Goodbye, everyone.